Hello, everyone. Nice to see you, and thank you very much for attending this PV talk about certification and traceability. First of all, I will present myself and the group, EcoCert. Uh, I'm Vincent Duray, as a textile business unit manager for, at EcoCert Group. Uh, who, who is EcoCert? EcoCert is a certification body operating worldwide. We have been founded in 1991. On mainly on organic farming, and we have developed our activities worldwide uh, in more than 30 countries in the world. We are now uh, present uh, in, uh, we have subsidiaries in more than 30 different uh, countries, but also we are present in more than 130 countries in the world. We are able also to certify on many different standards but all of them are dedicated to sustainability. So we are working in more than 130 different standards worldwide. So before starting this PV talk about certification and traceability, I would like to talk about general information and especially about the global, global context. For sure, the world is changing. We are now facing for this two, three years pandemic, economic crisis, but also now uh, conflicts, especially in, Euro in Europe, that could have short-term priorities on a uh, change, short-term priorities of the end consumers. We can see in the last report of the state of fashion uh, that 2023, that uh, this, uh, this, this the operators who are operating in textile supply chain are mainly concerned with the inflation and economy downturns. That's the, the most important point that now uh, that the, the operators have to face with. But the point is that uh, under the underlining trends, it continues to see that the effect of the climate change are felt by the end consumer right now. So this is a statement that is still uh, uh, occurred and present. All the end consumer are now increasingly uh, convinced that the need to change their ways of consuming is really a, a, a reality and a need right now. If you see the last uh, surveys that has been done in France, but also worldwide, you can see that, for instance, with the ADEM report it done in 2022, that 71% of the people think that I see the link between my choice and the future of the planet. So it's really important for the consumer to, to, to take decisions new decision on the positive action for the climate. And also 97% of the consumer are willing to take action to live more sustainably. Also 79% want to invest on more sustainable products. This is uh, also a great point. And as well, 61% are now influenced by the certification explaining environmental benefits. So it's a really new trends also that occur nowadays. Also, it means on the world side that the consumer are no longer just wanting the brands to be generally responsible and are now demanding measurable and transparent and also consistent action from the brands to, to, to wait for search and to support these brands. So it we see, if you can see this drawing on the right side of this uh, slide, that 65% uh, of the interview people and consumer are able to boycott a brand who doesn't product a sustainable product in a sustainable manner. So it's a really huge trend that now are present in, in the mind of end, the end consumers. Also, it means that the brands have been involved now into sustainable approaches. From the fashion pack that has been signed in, 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 uh, in uh, 2019, 132 brands signed the fashion pact to change the sourcing with more sustainability material, better production practices, and also to reduce their impact. Almost all the major brands are now engaged in sustainable approaches and certification at different level. We have seen a lot of new engagement in certifications in the last three years. More than 30% every year are engaging in, into the certification right now. And also the, all the brands have defined KPIs, KPIs uh, to monitor their CSR policies. So it means that fashion brands are being held accountable for their environmental and social impact towards the end consumers. 
in the same time, the regulation is getting stronger and accelerating. In France, for instance, we have new laws that appear the last three, uh, the last five years, for instance, the, the law uh, on the duty of vigilance and also the HEC law, the waste, anti-waste uh, law, as well also the law on, on the climate change and resilience has been uh, provided uh, last year. Then in Europe, also the things are changing. So the, the politicians and the, the, policy, the, the politics are changing they are more to, through more uh, green uh, regulation. And the, at the real EU level, the, the EU Commission definish, de, de, define an EU strategy for more sustainable and secular textiles as well. So the so regulation is going stronger and stronger, but at the time, nothing is defining what is a, a recycled material, uh, what is a, a organic material, uh, something like that. So it's still at the CSR, CSR level. So let's talk about certification and trustability. Certification is a quality system who can be used to, to guarantee and promote your positive impact as a brand, but also to fight against greenwashing. We have seen a lot from, from the many, many years ago, a lot of uh, greenwashing systems. So certification is here to help to uh, respond to greenwashing. Also to comply with the upcoming regulation, to stand out from the competition, uh, but, uh, and to be more innovative and to reinsure and to inform your consumer uh, to have a clear and transparent way of communication. In EcoCert, we have different scope of certification, different scope of interaction towards more sustainability. At the bottom of this pyramid, you can see the, all the eco-responsible material uh, trustability system. Most of them are given by textile exchange standards, and also, with also you can use in, in textiles the FSC certification or a PFC certification for forest management. Then, up to that, you may have the certifications that will include environmental and social impacts, so, so, such as GOTS and, and GRS and also ECOSAT certification. Above that, you may have fair trade and societal certification, so fair for life certification for ECOSAT and for life certification. It's the two other certifications that we are able to provide. And then at the, the top of the pyramid, you may have corporate certifications, such as climate neutral certification, but also a certification involving the responsivity, the responsibility of the brands. So concerning the certification, you need to know that the certification is a quality system that is uh, available through all the supply chain. At the, each level of the supply chain, we are obliged, in order to give a certification, to audit each stage of the supply chain. From the raw material production to the distribution of, of the product, every stage should be audited. And at each stage, we will certify the, the, the units that have been controlled, and we will be able to give transaction certificate between one certified operator to another one. So we will be able, with the certification, to trace um, from a product that has been finished and, and sold at the distribution level, we could go back to the origin of the raw materials. Then, uh, concerning the, 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 the data, as a certification body, we are also able to provide and to collect the data from the whole supply chain. Today, we are, we are collecting more data concerning the production of fiber, chain of custody, and also product data. But in the near future, we will be able also to collect the data concerning the environment, the social, social part, but also climate change. So it means trustability solution could also help the decision maker also to take their own decision. If you can see, nowadays you can find a lot of different IT uh, trustability solution provider. And concerning this study, we can see that more than 50% of the decision makers say that trustability will be a top five enabler reducing emission in the supply chain. So trustability could be a tool for boosting also the, br the brands and their in in environmental approaches in providing more data Monitoring, monitoring the KPIs, but also to see uh, how many certified entities they have within their supply chain, how many percent, uh, what is the percentage of organic uh, products they will use in their collection, etc. So to have a guideline for their uh, environmental approaches. But 
brands need to have reliable data and visibility on their value chain. Today, many brands have only visibility on their direct supplier. They have no visibility on what could be the origin of the raw fiber, in fact. So traceability solution could be a real tool for them to, to better know the, the, the origin of the, of, the, of the raw material. Brands are also largely ill-equipped to monitor and manage the social and environmental practices around the supply chain. So that's the reason why the standard owners are now implementing traceability tools. That's a new point there. Within using a central, centralized database, centralized information. So this is the example of uh, textile exchange and, and GOTS. Both of them are implementing, are implementing uh, new traceability tools, especially detracted and interacted with textile exchange that has been presented last uh, conference in textile exchange in, in Colorado, and also with a global trace base from, from GOTS. If you want more information, GOTS is present here uh, uh, in the booth, so you could have more information about that. But operators involved in this traceability project must accept also the disclosure of some, some inf information about their production and also uh, from the storage of data. So they said so things that could limit the, the possibility to disclose and to access to the information about, about the raw material. And also it will need important effort and investment for, for all the different stakeholders. So that's uh, the main uh, constraint also of this uh, traceability tools. Concerning, if we could sum up the, 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 uh, a map as a map of uh, all this uh, system, at the bottom of this uh, chart, you may have the supply chain operator. As a certification body, we are able to collect the, the, the data, but you need to know that we are not the only, the only one certification body operating worldwide. So we may have, you may have many different certification body operating worldwide on the same standards. So we are collecting the information as a certification body at the operator side, and this data could be given to the trustability tools. First of all, it will be mainly the standard owner who will, call, who will receive this, this, this data, but you, it could be also the authorities and also a third party IT trustability tool provider as well. All of them is in link with, with is under the acceptance of disclosure from the operator. For sure, we cannot disclose information that you consider as, as confidential. If you, if you make the choice to adhere to the, to the certification, you will be obliged, for instance, with GOTS and TE to, to provide su such data. Okay? And then the trustability tools provider could be able to give the information to the brand that could be at the end, available to, to, the, to the end consumers. Okay, that's the way everything is working right now. Then as a conclusion, we can say that certification and digital, digital traceability are solutions to provide reliable, reliable data. Also, we need to have harmonized standards that includes all the aspects of the sensibility and recognize worldwide. At that time, we have different standards that could be used to, to collect and to, have, to, to create and generate the, the different information that will be given to the end consumer. So it's still a difficulty for, for our, our, uh, to be able to give uh, comparable data as well. So that's the next point. Different approaches means different measurement system on sustainability. sustainability. So, it won't be, uh, we won't be able to compare the data. That's an uh, important point. So we need to harmonize the standard in order to have comparable data. As well, there is a point about the complexity of the, fashions, of the su fashion supply chain. The fashion supply chain is very complex. We have many, many different operators uh, in the same uh, supply chains. So if we can reduce this uh, length of uh, the supply chain, it will decrease the risk also concerning the, the brand, etc. So a so, uh, very important point in order to have more reliable data and also to reduce the risk is to better bandage the, the supply chain in terms also of length of this uh, supply chain. And also to, to limit the number of CVs as well, to limit the, the number of stakeholders in the supply chain. It would be better for the brands to, if they want to, to better manage the quality of the goods. 
then also, as I said before, we need to manage also the confidentiality uh, at the brand's level because brands could ask the supplier to provide the data, but if the supplier is not, uh, doesn't agree to provide some, some data, it could block the system. Then we need also a global vision to be efficient in our action to redu reduce impact. If we are only focused on our little things, our little activity, it's difficult to say if our action is uh, efficient or not at a global uh, at a global side. Then we need to set common tar target to be efficient also in our action. So that's uh, the last point we we need to see. So certification and digital trustability are really interesting to, to boost the certification and to monitor the brand approaches at a worldwide level. So it's very, very useful to act for the change. Thank you. So if you have any question, I am able to answer during five, five minutes. And if not, you could go to, the, to our booth at the 4B78. Thank you.